we're going to talk about auto boxing and unboxing. So let's create a new variable with the integer wrapper class type. And we create a new object using the int value 5. To do that, we use the integer.value of method to create the object of the integer wrapper class. This isn't compulsory because there's something called auto boxing. To use auto boxing, all you need to do is assign the wrapper class the int primitive value. So if I say integer x is equal to 5, Java would automatically convert this primitive value 5 into an integer object. So you don't need to use the integer of value of. This is automatically done by the Java compiler. This is known as auto boxing. You would see the usefulness of this when we have to deal with Java data structures. You're not forced to convert the primitive types into the wrapper class objects. Java will do that stress for you. Now that X is a wrapper class type, you can just assign it to an int variable. Java will automatically convert that wrapper class into a primitive value. That is known as unboxing. So we unbox the wrapper object into a primitive type. We can decide to say x.int value. But you know, IntelliJ will tell us that there's no need for this stress. This is unnecessary. Since Java does this for us already, we can simply just remove that and assign it directly. Java will convert it for us. This same principle works for the other wrapper classes. For example, I can assign the wrapper class boolean to a primitive boolean type true. This is auto boxing. So here we've learned the, the simple principles behind auto boxing and unboxing.